Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming over to watch this video. This is Alan Hernandez from DP Computing. Today in this video I'd like to give you an overview and give you some tricks and tips on the Windows 8 start screen, which is what you see in front of you. Now finally the Windows 8 version has been released some time ago and um, I think it's time that you get to experience it. That this video is going to be so that you can get a closer look at the Windows 8 start screen which is very popular. As you see in front of you here is these are considered applications and also icons. In previous Windows versions like XP, Vista or 7 on your desktop you will see icons just like you see to the right. The same thing will apply on the star screen. You can customize your star screen as if you would customize your XP or your Windows 7 star menu. Something similar but the look is different and the layout is different. What you're going to see here is that if I scroll down I can add as many applications and as many icons as I want. You're going to notice that if you see to the right, these applications and icons also considered programs were added by me. So I customized it this way. The ones to the left here, if you notice how the size is bigger from the ones to the right, well, the bigger ones are considered to be applications, apps in the Windows 8 platform. To the right, these are considered to be programs and applications icons. More for programs. Obviously you can see that the uh, look and the size of these icons are smaller from these ones to the left. To give you a great example, if I open my calendar application, you will see that it takes the complete screen. It's pretty much a full screen view. I can basically go back to my screen menu, star menu, star screen, uh, whichever way you would like to uh, call it. And if I move my mouse all the way to the left, this will bring me to the desktop. If I move over to the left, then again back to the application. On your keyboard, you're going to see next to the control key and the Alt key that there is the Windows key. When you press it, my star screen would then open. Just like I, it would do in the previous Windows versions where you press the star key and then the star menu will open. In this case, if I press it, this will control the on and off display of the star screen. So what I'm going to do here is, while I'm in the star screen, I'm going to move my mouse over it, right click, and close the calendar application that I just had open. So when I press my start key, it takes me to the desktop because there is nothing open. So this is a great navigation feature within the Windows 8 application. Um, and I love this uh, about it. When I press the start key again, he automatically and quickly brings me to the star screen. What I'd like to show you here is another trick and another great feature on the Windows 8 star screen is let's say that I would like to add additional applications or program icons to my star screen. Obviously you will only see so many showing in the main screen. However, what you can do is you can right click and then you will see this option that says all apps. If I choose it, then this will give me the list of all the programs that my computer currently has installed. And the great thing that I noticed about this is that it categorizes the application. For example, these ones are from a shampoo. These ones are from Battlefield. These ones are from Contagia Studio. These are games. These are Microsoft Office applications and so forth. The same uh, the scroll feature when you scroll up and down on your mouse, what it does is slice to the right and to the left versus up and down. 
So that feature is similar, it just changes from left to right versus up and down. So what I'll do here is, let's say that I would like to pick one of these icons to show on my star screen. Very simple, similar to Windows 7, where you're able to pin or unpin applications and icons to your star um, menu or to your desktop. So what I would do here is I'll right click on the one that I want and then simply pin to start. If I now press the start key on my keyboard, then this will bring me back to the start screen. If I scroll to the right, you will see the icon that I had just added to my uh, screen here on the start menu or the start screen, either way. It's considered to be the same but it changes on the navigation. If I right click on it, any given time that I like to unpin it from the star menu, I can simply do that and it goes away. Very easy, very e simple. If I click on the uh, star menu, I'm sorry, if I press on the star menu key on my keyboard, then it just switches back and forth from the desktop to the star screen on and off Another way that you can access your star screen is by once you're on the desktop, you can move your mouse over to the right or over to the top or the bottom right of your screen. This menu will come up and you can see the star option. When I choose it, then it goes back to the star screen. So Windows 8 is great. Um, there's many other features uh, that were added to the new platform. Uh, we'll create additional videos in the future, giving you additional tricks and tips and some overviews uh, on the Windows 8 platform. This was a uh, video that I wanted to create showing you guys the start screen, uh, the navigation aspect of it, um, how easy and simple it is to navigate around, and how professional and beautiful it looks between actual apps versus programs and this was amazing before I go I want to give you another great example so you can see the difference between an app you consider an application on the Windows 8 platform just like you would have on your smartphone on an iPad a tablet the apps run different from an actual program to give you another great example, I'm going to open the Internet Explorer app. Watch what happens. You're going to notice that it takes the full screen. You see the difference. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to move my mouse over to the right and then select it so it takes me back to the desktop. Any given time that I like to close something that's already open, I move the mouse over, right click, and close. Very simple. Now watch what happens when I open an actual Internet Explorer this way, in this case using the regular Internet Explorer program, not the application. I'm going to right click, open a new one, and you will see that it looks somewhat similar to the Windows 7 Vista version. The only difference is on the look of it, it will not take the complete screen. Plus it gives me the same menu options as if I would run it on Windows 7. I hope that was helpful. So I'm going to close this, press the Start menu uh, key on my keyboard, and it takes me back to the Start screen. Again, guys, this was Alan Hernandez uh, from DP Computing. Uh, we will be uh, creating additional videos in the future. Uh, you're more than welcome to comment and provide your feedback below this video. If you have any questions and you'd like to uh, contact us for any computer-related need, uh, please do not hesitate. Our website is, and I'm going to take you over there real quick so you can find it, would be dpcomputing.com.au. Okay, and there it is. We are located in South Australia. This is our phone number. You're welcome to give us a call if you need any uh, help.
and we're here to help. And like I said, in the future, I'm going to be creating additional videos. So you're more than welcome to comment, provide your feedback, and uh, connect with us on social media like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And um, again, thank you so much for watching. Take care.